a square of length 1 meters inside a square of length 2 meters and 4 quarter circles are drawn as shown in the figure. The value of y minus x is given by it's a fabulous, 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 really tough question. I went on a wild goose chase trying to find x and y and then finding y minus x. It is really tough. It was a complete nightmare and I simply couldn't do it. I suspended that and said, look, they have not asked us for y or x. They have asked us for y minus x. But that's a breakthrough. You can get to y minus x without getting y and x individually. If you reframe the equation, we are through. How are we going to do that? It's a beautiful question. This is the quarter circle. And so what can we do? We can find area of this quarter circle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, carve out this square. Side 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. From that, I can carve out this quarter circle, get the remaining. I know straight away that this is a symmetric shape. This area and this area are same. So these two add up to x. So I'm going to take this square a b c d and expand that and then see how it looks so i have a b c d and i have this water cut away and then this arc here this part plus this part is x this is y. Lovely, beautiful. Now I'm on to something. Now, if I take this arc and then think about this quadrant, I can find the area of this quadrant. Right? If I take the square and subtract this quadrant, I can get this remaining part. All that I can do. Now, suppose I say I, I want to include this y and this x in some of my thinking. What will I do? I'll forget this quadrant and imagine just this shape. I'm going to imagine that shape, the numbers don't matter, the shape matters. That is three quarters of a square. Right? To this, I take instead of this. Now, from sitting on top of this, I imagine this. Now, if I'm thinking about this area, to that, to the three quarters of a square, from the three quarters of a square, if I subtract this, if I subtract this and add this, I'll get that quadrant, quarter circle. Then, or reimagining it, these three quarters of a square, from that, I subtract these two and add this, I'll get the quarter circle. The three quarters of a square, from that I subtract this and add this, I'll get quarter circle. Or area of three quarters of a square, square of side 1, 1 to 3 by 4. From this 3 by 4, I subtract these two, remove and I'm removing x and add y. I'll get area of the quarter circle. Quarter circle is pi into 1 square by 4. Done. To 3 by 4, I subtract x and add y. I'll get pi by 4. Or we want to find y minus x. y minus x goes that side. So, sorry. What do I, what am I subtracting? From the 3 quadrants, I subtract x and get y. So I want to get y minus x. y minus x stays this side. y minus x equals 5 by 4 minus 3 by 4. Or y minus x is pi minus 3 by 4. Do I have that pi minus 3 by 4? Done. It's incredibly tough to get the exact value or expression for y or for x. So if any of you can find it and, and figure that out and give us the answer, we'd be more than thrilled. Please do that. Give us the exact value of x, exact value of y. But imagining a y minus x, but to some region, I add y and remove x, I get some other region. If I can think of the problem like that, then I am through. To this three quarters of a square, if I add y and remove x, I'll get the quadrant, the quarter circle. So from the three fourths of a square, we go to the quarter circle by adding y and taking away x. So reframe the equation like that and then we are through. Gosh.
Thank you.